With 15 cases being reported on Saturday, the total number of COVID-19 cases in the state has risen to 489, with 18 of them succumbing to COVID-19. Meanwhile, Bengaluru has reported six new COVID-19 cases on Saturday. Five of the six COVID-19 cases are the contact of patient number 419. They are migrant from Bihar who had tested positive. Bengaluru has 126 COVID-19 cases at this point. Karnataka has initiated convalescent plasma therapy for uh, critically ill COVID-19 patients. Health Minister B. Shiramlu and Medical Education Minister Dr. K. Sudhakar visited the Bengaluru Medical College where the trials have begun from today. Dr. K. Sudhakar called it a historic day. तो कर्नाटक का राज्य के दोनों दो ऐतिहासिक अक्षणा विशेष वाकी कोविड के पीड़ित राज्य तक अंतर और गए मतलब बड़ा क्लिष्ट करवा दें तो स्थिति अलग तक अंतर और गए ये तो अत्यंत उपयुक्त इधर इंता नम मेलर बावने आगे दे आधु कोशिश वाकी ना निवेदन्ति मार्ग तो यार गुड़ स्वयं प्रेरिंदा ये लार गुड़ मंदिर पर बैक एक इन्नो पर का नुकला गंता व्यवस्थे ये दो प्लाज्मा थेरेपी ट्रीटमेंट अली रोका ना ये लार गुड़ स्वयं प्रेरण इन्द बंदू now at the containment zone of Padranpura ward, KSRP personnel and Garuda commandos have continued to be deployed uh, to maintain the law and order situation. The police personnel were requesting the residents to stay indoors and only venture out to purchase essentials. Grocery stores and pharmacies are open in the containment zone to enable the residents to purchase essentials. You can see that the cops too have uh, come out in large numbers. They are asking uh, the people, they are in fact requesting the people not to, you know, not to come out uh, here and uh, stay indoors as well. And uh, we see several of them also, in, uh, you know, engaging in a heated uh, argument as uh, well. And uh, they are saying that they need to go ahead and give essential commodities too. But uh, apart from that, we are also seeing the disinfectant uh, tunnel where uh, this uh, person is passing through. And it is quite mandatory for all those people coming in uh, uh, out of uh, the containment zones to be disinfected. So they will be passing uh, through this uh, disinfectant uh, tunnel. Well, it has now come to light that around 23 Bengaluru City Police personnel to have been quarantined at a hotel. According to a document which has been released, the policemen were involved in the detention and interrogation of the accused in Padrayanpura incident have been quarantined. The cops have been quarantined after five of the accused tested positive for the virus in the past two days. Health officials are in a race against time to identify the source of patient number 419. Now, the health officials have still not been able to trace the source. The 54-year-old migrant worker who hailed from Bihar was working at a scrap shop but had stopped going to work after the lockdown. However, he had reportedly cooked meals for several labourers and was residing with several of them. Around 25 people who were contacts of the patient had contracted the disease from the infected Hindu show. Around 185 uh, primary contacts of patient number 419 have been identified by the health officials. These contacts include 18 children as well as around two of them uh, who are above the age of 60. Now all the primary contacts have been placed under quarantine. BBMP officials undertook sanitization operation in and around Vidya Jyoti Nagar of Hongsandra from where several COVID-19 positive cases have been identified. Disinfectant was sprayed as a measure to contain COVID-19. Tense situation witnessed in Gayatri Nagar after some migrant workers were spotted in the area. On questioning, workers revealed that they hailed from Bihar and had come to work from Hubali. Residents immediately alerted the BBMP officials and migrants were uh, taken for medical checkup. Tipu Nagar residents continue to violate lockdown norms despite the ward being sealed after a COVID-19 death was reported. Residents were seen wandering around on the streets despite the requests of the volunteers asking them to stay indoors. Meanwhile, the authorities have installed a sanitization tunnel and CCTV at the entry point of Tipu Nagar. BJP State President Nalin Kumar Katil said that he has requested the state government to increase the salary of ASHA workers. 
Katil urged that uh, strict action should be taken against people who attack health officials and ASHA workers. Congress leader H.K. Patil condemned relaxation of lockdown in the state. He has warned the relation of lockdown. Relaxation of lockdown would lead to more number of COVID-19 cases in the state. Residents of Banaswadi protested in front of Banaswadi police station for shifting Padrayanpura COVID-19 suspects to a quarantine centre near Banaswadi. Now, the protest was led by BJP leader Padmana Reddy. The suspects involved in the assault against the police and health officers in Padrayanpura have been shifted to the centre. An IT firm located near Sajapur has sacked as many as 200 employees. The CEO of the company has allegedly sent a termination mail to the employees and switched off his mobile phone. As many as 40 daily wagers from Bihar, Uttar Pradesh and Jharkhand are living in two containers in judicial layout, Bengaluru, for the past 20 days. Uh, food is being supplied to labourers by residents. Food and Civil Supplies Minister K. Gopalaya visited Food and Civil Supplies Godown in Anikal of Bengaluru. The minister visited the Godown following the allegations by the Congress that supplies were being misused by the Russian shop owners. Gopalaya said action would be taken against the Russian shop owners who are misusing the government's food supplies. In a bid to help the people from northeastern states of India who are away from home and are stranded in Bengaluru without any way to go back home, the Northeast Solidarity NGO has come together to provide food and other essential items. This noble endeavour was started as soon as the lockdown was announced by the state government. They are distributing 3,000 meals and 1,000 Russian kids to a day. The others are so whenever we distribute food and people come across, we don't we give everybody. We give everybody who whoever is coming along. Yeah. So there is there is no segregation of anything in distribution of see what the number I have given like four thousand seven hundred is only just a small number compared with the rest of the other communities. Well, Adamya uh, Chetana, a voluntary charitable trust, has come forward to aid families of people who are in distress due to the coronavirus outbreak. Over 4,22,000 food packets were served and around 15,000 kits were distributed to several of these stranded families. This organization also reaches out to transgenders and senior citizens. Adamya Charitable Trust distributes around 19,000 food packets a day. place where we are cooking food for... Today it is uh, 19,600 people. Uh, majority is for lunch and then we continue the cooking and uh, send the dinner. And only initially two, three days our kitchen was closed. That way last 16 years we have never locked this place. Well, Sandalwood director Yograj Bhatt has shot an awareness song about COVID-19. The song is about essential workers and health workers who are fighting COVID-19. The song would be released in another four days. The lockdown has resulted in several blood banks across the city facing a shortage of blood. A blood donation drive was organized by Alanka MLA SR Vishwanath to enable people to donate blood amid the lockdown. Several blood donors took this opportunity to donate blood at the camp, which was organized in Yalanka, Newtown.